Johannes Lindstedt, tell me about your band. Well, we got a great five-piece band here tonight. We got uh, Jeff Lipgong on the guitar. He does some lead work as well. On drums, we've got Anastasios Vigas. On keyboard and accordion, we've got Jordan Abraham. And on bass, we've got Jared Ross. All right, and uh, you've got some recordings for sale today, too? Yeah, I think I've got about six albums with me today. I have a brand new album, which actually isn't uh, even available on iTunes or in stores yet. The official release is in September, but uh, I've got it here tonight. That's awesome. And so uh, you're going to be playing stuff from the new stuff? Uh, new tunes, yeah. yeah. Mostly, mostly uh, songs from the other albums, but okay. we're going to be doing and they're all everything. available on iTunes? All on iTunes, uh, Spotify, Amazon, all that stuff. And you guys play around town? We don't really play around town. I, I, I'd say um, we do the occasional festival. We do a lot of performing arts centers. We're going to be at the Oakville Performing Arts Center in October. We're going to be at the uh, Port Hope. Uh, I forget what it might be the Capital Center, I think, in Port Holt, and also in October. Um, actually, we're going to be at the CNE as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. And uh, who would you say are your main influences? Actually, I draw, even though my music is uh, Latino, Spanish music, I draw most of my inspiration musically from Mozart. He's my hero favorite out of everything. Uh, so, actually, I've, I've written probably more classical music than I have anything else, but I make my living doing this. Which I love. It's got a Latino feel. Yeah. What steered you that direction out of being a Mozart fan? Uh, well, ever since I was a kid, we, we were traveling through Latin America, the Caribbean, Mexico, Spain. Uh, I'm actually part Spanish, so just always developed a love of that culture. Yeah. And uh, have you played abroad too? Uh, we've, we've performed pretty much all over the place, uh, Middle East, and um, I have a guy, actually he's Spanish, from Spain, but living in France, who's working on a European tour for us. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And uh, where's been your favorite places to play? Other than Beaches well, Jazz. of course, Beaches is number one. <laughs> yeah. Um, probably Catalina Island, uh, California. Oh, that sounds nice. You have, I think it's the number one jazz festival in the U.S. It's called the Catalina Island Jazz Festival. We did that a couple of times. It's pretty amazing. You have to fly to, uh, I guess we flew to L.A., and then from there you take a several hour ferry ride oh, cool. to go to this island, and it's just beautiful. It's like going to Greece. Wow, that's really nice. beautiful. And uh, what kind of instruments do you like to play? Like uh, a classical guitar, obviously? Spanish guitar. I call it more of a Spanish guitar. Yeah. I play basically Latin guitar, but I'm also introducing the electric guitar. So I like to say it's sort of a mix between Gypsy King and Carlos Santana. Uh, well, people can always check out my website. It's uh, johanneslinstead.com, or if they can't do that phonetically, it's also guitar guru.com. Of course, Thanks for being on here. This is Mars and Mary.